Well, you may not have heard of it, but there is a serious form of acid reflux. It's called GERD, and nearly one in five Americans have it. There's no medication to treat this, but there is a minimally invasive surgery to help relieve the symptoms. And we want to welcome Dr. Kevin Gillian of Virginia Hospital Center here to talk more about this condition and the treatment. Doctor, thank you for being here. My pleasure. All right, so first of all, what are the symptoms of GERD? What should people look out for, and how is it different from acid reflux? Well, I think people get confused because so much of what we do is focused at stopping acid, mm -hmm. when what we're really dealing with is a plumbing problem. We're talking about all the fluid in our stomach coming up into the esophagus. We don't have this filter that only lets acid up. So basically, you know, the water you had, the coffee you had, the pasta you had last night, whatever's in your stomach, mm -hmm. if it's able to come up into the esophagus, it creates symptoms. Chest pain, burning, coughing, difficulty swallowing, difficulty sleeping. And are these symptoms that are based on diet or is it something, you know, hereditary? How, how do you know that you're maybe predisposed to having GERD? Exactly. So that is the problem that people deal with all the time. They think, well, I ate the wrong thing. I did it at the wrong time. It's mechanical. That's why I'm a surgeon, right? So we fix things. It's okay. a mechanical problem. There's a weakness in the valve between our esophagus and our stomach. We, we all burp. We all belch. We can all throw up. Right. So that valve's not very strong. So anything that makes it less strong turns these symptoms into things that really torture people in terms of heartburn, chest pain, regurgitation. And so if you were to take the typical over-the-counter drugs like a Pepsid AC or something like that, it's not going to help you if you have GERD? It will make you feel better temporarily okay. because it, it strips the acid out of the fluid that's coming up. So maybe it burns less. I see. But if you reflux 100 times a day and you take Pepsid, you're still reflexing 100 times a day on Pepsid or on on um, pantoprazole or dexalent or things like this. Got it. Okay, so tell me about this procedure that you do. You were the first surgeon in the DMV region 10 years ago to do this Lynx procedure. Uh, tell us what this is and how it helps people. So it's a minimally invasive surgery. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour in most patients. Uh, what we're doing is we're augmenting or, or reinforcing the valve that's not working. So we're able to get in with five millimeter and eight millimeter incisions, very small incisions, okay. uh, close the defect, and then reinforce the valve by placing this little titanium band. It's a magnet, little magnet. So when you swallow, food goes through the esophagus, the, the device opens up, then the food goes past, and then it closes again. But it lets you burp and belch because it can go the other direction as well. So relative to older procedures, the side effect profile is a lot lower, mm -hmm. recovery is faster, um, results seem to be more durable. And you would know because you just did your 600th procedure, right? And and you have a lot of success with this surgery. I'm very, as I tell patients all the time, I have lots of options. Uh -huh. I've seen things come and go. I'm very busy. I've done tens of thousands of these types of operations over my 25 year career. And if it didn't work, I wouldn't do it. And I've been doing this for 10 years and I really, I'm really happy with the results. All right. Well, Dr. Gillian, thank you so much. April is Esophageal Cancer Awareness Month. So we appreciate you shining a light on this issue of GERD and showing us the solutions that are available. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Great to meet you.